Louis Reynolds, BBC Radio Leeds, if you want to get us going, mate. Thank you. Alex, good to see you again. I guess we'll start with the news. A new head coach, Stuart Huddersfield Town next week. Andre Brighton writer, what's yours and your teammates' reaction to that? Um, you know, we all focus on tomorrow's game, you know. Uh, it's a big game, you know, we play in midweek, but we just all focus on tomorrow and we'll see what happens next week. Has that been the message from John and John's staff? Oh yeah, yeah. That's what we. Uh, that's what they spoke about today. You know, to make sure we focus on to tomorrow's game. You know, try to get the three points, and then you know next week just plays out. Is it is it hard as a player, Alex, when the club's going through a transitional period to to keep that focus up though? Yeah, of course. Obviously, like you know, a lot of new changes happening at the moment. So you know, you just got to keep focused and get your head down and just keep on going. I'm sure the new head coach will be watching the game tomorrow. Does it add any extra pressure to you guys as players, knowing that you've got a new head coach to impress? Oh no, I just feel like there's no pressure for us to, you know, just to keep on doing what we're doing and, you know, keep on doing the same and just play, you know, our football tomorrow. For you, how have you found the last couple of weeks working under John? No, I thought um, he's, a, he's a great coach. You know, puts a lot of trust into me to play. Um, I've, I've, I've liked how he uh, does things, you know, um, I really like him as a coach. We've seen Town be a lot more on the front foot yeah. since John took charge of the team. What's his message been to you, Alex, in your role? Um, just to, uh, you know, set the tone for the team, set the energy for the team, you know, to, you know, win a lot of duels, you know, in my game and, you know, really set the tone and, you know, move forward. Do you enjoy that role? Of course, yeah, it's something that I really like to do, you know, it's a big part of my game, you know, a very physical part of my game and, you know, I, lo I love doing it. We saw you get on the score sheet against Southampton, is that something in your mind, just adding more goals to your game? Of course, yeah, obviously I would love to add some more goals in my game, you know, get into the right positions for me to score goals, you know, you know, just scoring a lot of goals would be, you know, very beneficial for me. How have you found your time at the club so far since joining in January, as you touched on? There's been a lot of transition so far. What have you made to life at Huddersfield Town? No, I've, you know, transitioned very well. I really like it at the moment, you know, I just want to keep on playing and keep on impressing. You know, that's, that's my aim. Do you have regular contact with those back at Chelsea? Oh, yeah, I speak to, you know, most of the players back there, you know, a lot of players in my age group, you know, just see how they're doing and, you know, how they're getting on. Looking at the last couple of results, albeit a defeat down at Southampton, but a good performance, and then the win against Sunderland the other night, their two teams challenging for promotion. Hull City, likewise, this coming Saturday. How much belief has those last results given you in those performances especially? Um, a lot of belief, you know, a lot of belief in the team, you know, to get a result and more results, you know. I think we played very well in the last two games. A lot of attacking football, and, you know, we try to showcase that tomorrow as well. When you are coming up against those teams who are up there, is it easy or, or is it difficult to block out who they are and, and what they're trying to do when it comes to match day? Um, it can be a 50-50, you know, the top teams, you know, but, you know, we've got to focus on ourselves and, you know, try and put a performance out there and try and get the three points. Last couple of games at home, Sheffield Wednesday and then Sunderland on Wednesday night, showed the best of the John Smith Stadium, really rocking for both of those games. How much have you enjoyed playing at the ground? Um, I've enjoyed it a lot, you know, the fans are, you know, on our side and, you know, I've loved it, you know, every time I want to tackle, they're always behind me and uh, I just love it, you know, I really love playing it. A big word we had after the match on our programme on Wednesday, Alex, was the belief was back at Huddersfield Town. A lot of the supporters believing that this side can move further and further away from that relegation zone. Do you and your teammates share that belief? Of course, you know, you know, a lot of people are coming back from injury now and we get, we're getting a, you know, a full squad now and, you know, we have a lot of players who are strong enough to come off the bench and affect the games. And I feel like, you know, we, we can push more further up the table. And, and just for you, lastly, moving up on loan from Chelsea, how have you found just settling in day-to-day -day life up north? How, how have the guys been with you? Do you get up to much off the pitch with the guys who have helped make you uh, feel settled yeah, in? Yeah, yeah, you know, I chill a lot with the people around my age group, you know. I've really settled in really well, you know, the first day everyone welcomed me, you know, I've really settled in. Great stuff. Thanks for your time, Alex. Thank Good you luck. very much. Cheers, Louis. We'll just come to Stephen Chicken from We Are Terriers now. Hey Alex, um, we were talking to Tom Lees the other day about 
this new playing style that John Worthington's got you in, and you're saying, you know, it, it's it's not an easy style, but it's one that that suits you with the athleticism you've got as a side. Obviously, you're a prime example of that. I mean, it, it must be extra rewarding to play such an exhausting style and get the rewards for it as you have been. Yeah, um, you know, we always want to be on the front foot. You know, that's the that's our aim. You know. He's been telling us to pass forward more, to create more chances, to get in more goal-scoring positions, and I feel like we're doing that. You know, we're playing with a much more risk factor to our to our game. Are you a player, a player who likes to to play on the edge like that? Yeah, yeah. I feel like that's the best way to play for me for myself. You know, to play on the edge. You know, it's thrilling. It's uh, it's, uh, it's the best way to get uh, get myself out there. You know, I love playing on the edge. You know. It's been your first few weeks in sort of senior football yeah. uh, since you've arrived at the club. Being very popular with the fans, as, as you touched on, you've got your first goal. How do you reflect on this first month or so? Um, yeah, I think I've done kind of well. You know, obviously I wanted to come in and start playing, and that was a big uh, factor for me. You know, to get game time, and I think I'm you know transitioning really well into to the to men's football into the the intensity of the championship. What's your understanding of of what Andre Brighton-Reiter is going to look to bring to the club. Has there been much discussion of that within the squad from, from those above or is that sort of one for next week? I think it's one for next week. There hasn't been much yeah. discussion. You know, We've all just been focused on tomorrow's game and trying to win the game. I think that's one for next week and to see what happens there. What are you expecting from Hull tomorrow? Oh, I think they're a good side. They've got good players. You know, it'll be a very t- challenging game. You know, um, It'll be a, be a good game to watch and you know, it'll be an exciting game to, to play in. Yeah, they've got some a bit of flair in their attack, haven't they? Is it? I suppose your job is to make sure those players don't uh, don't have an impact on the game. Oh yeah, um, I try my best to to stop their players and you know having any joy in the in the game. But it'll be definitely a good uh, good battle to to play in. Have you had much uh, contact from from Chelsea since you've been at the club? What what have they been saying to you? If so. Um, I haven't had a, like, a lot of contact to be honest um, but a few people have messaged me here and there even saying you know to keep on going you're doing well just keep your head down and keep, um, keep moving forward Great stuff Cheers Alex appreciate that best luck tomorrow Cheers Thank Steve you. we'll just come to Liam Wobshaw from the Yorkshire Post now uh, hello, hello, Alex. Um, mm. Congratulations at your good, at your good start at Huddersfield. Thank you. I, I was just sort of wondering, you know, footballers look at their own statistics, they look at tackles, they look at interceptions, and all that. Are you really sort of big on that? You you strike me as someone who you you really enjoy a tackle, and uh, you sort of count how many tackles you made in the game, that sort of thing. Uh, I actually don't. I actually don't. You know, um, count up how many tackles or you know inches I make in the game. It just happens. You know, just I just keep on moving forward. You know. Um, but uh, no, nah, I really pride myself on that 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 side of the game, you know. Yeah. Do you sort of watch, you know, when people look at clips, that sort of thing? Is it? Do you watch sort of clips of, you know, players interceptions, that sort of thing? Is that something you you sort of you sort of big on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, um, I like to study like uh, a lot of the like the the defending arts of the game, you know, to position myself in you know certain areas to win the ball back effectively. You know, to be able to play forward after I win the ball back, you know. So that's something that I really um I study here. Yeah. yeah, you've you've obviously spoken about Kante before. Is there any other other players that you, you sort of you've taken bits and uh, and bats from? Um, you know, you know, back at Chelsea that like Caicedo, for example, you know, he's a he's a great at doing that as well, you know. Um, you know, these sort of players uh I like to study and to see, you know, to implement into my game. Yeah. The fans really love you already. I mean, it's gone. It's gone terrifically well for us. You've only just been here over a month, and you've really, really fitted in. You must, you must be proud of that. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, I've seen on the, you know, social media, fans um, showing me a lot of love, and I appreciate it. You know, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate it, and I continue to do the same. What's been the best sort of best standout moments for you so far? You, you, you've had one or two, haven't you? Uh, um, probably my favourite game was probably. Uh, the other night, Sunderland game probably my favorite yeah. game. Yeah, that was my probably my favorite game. You know, um, obviously up against Bellingham and stuff, and then the other players in there. No, definitely my my favorite game. Is it seems to be fans up here, and Northern fans really like uh, a young player who's got energy who, who loves to tackle. You you probably get that impression already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, every time I make a tackle, you know, or I try to win a tackle, you know, the fans really get behind it. You know, so it just keeps on spurring me on. You know. 
have you found it round about all this girl you probably met one or two other uh, other fans and had, had some chats that's that yeah. sort of thing yeah 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 no you know i've been in the town so i've seen a few fans had a chat with them they're all they're, um, very appreciative and you know they all seem very very nice yeah you spoke about going to man's football that, that's what you needed what uh what's the biggest sort of difference what's the biggest you know um the, the sort of taking you back a little bit you know some people say it's the pace the intensity what's what's your view um i probably i'll probably say the same the intensity of the game you know um the physical side you know it's very fast it's very quick you know you got to just you know uh, get your body ready to to deal with that you know so probably the pace and intensity of the game yeah so it's about um hoggy is obviously a big player and a big big figure at Huddersfield is he giving you some words of advice yeah yeah on the pitch he's always guiding me through you know you know telling me where to be you know he's a great person to play to play with with his, with his experience of the game you know just guiding me through the games you know telling me yeah. where I need to be at certain areas of the, of the pitch no it's, it's fantastic it's great you've not got a telling off yet then oh no not yet not yet, not yet. <laughs> I'm just going to ask you finally obviously you know you're back at Chelsea Chelsea have but you have people like low managers who who check on your progress, that sort of thing. Do you, do you get sort of re- reports? How, how does it sort of work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I get a person who speaks to me um, after my games and stuff, just to check on how I do, how I play, and stuff, see how I'm doing. So they, you know, they're in regular contact with me. Yeah, because you do, you got to do well for others, Phil. Yeah. But, you know, your parent club as well. It's, yeah. It's about your personal progress, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. You know, obviously. I'm not really sure what's going to happen in the summer, but I'm mostly just focused right, you know, yeah. right, right, yeah. right here, you know, as a man. Yeah. Best of luck, mate, and go well tomorrow. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Cheers. I appreciate it. Cheers, Liam. We'll just come to Arif Ahmed from ITV Calendar Lost. Thank you. Um, you touched on enjoying playing under John. What's he done for you? Um, You know, he's uh, made my, you know, time in the midfield very simple. Just one man, one job. That's all I pretty much focus about in the whole game, pretty much, and that's it, really. And you were saying about you enjoy playing the front foot attacking yeah. football. Is that just being given the freedom? You're not bogged down with too much information and in, in too, yeah. too much stuff. You yeah. just want being trusted and being allowed to play. Yeah, that's literally it. just the freedom to play. You know, not too much information going into the games. Just the freedom to play. You know, just to have like, the freedom to do what you want on the pitch. And. There's been a lot of change, you know, we've all touched on it, a lot of change since you've come. How important is it for, for a player, a calm and stable environment where there isn't much change and you can just focus on what's what you're doing rather than what's going on around you? Yeah, it's important, you know, just to keep your mind clear and to focus on the next game and, you know, everything will play out for itself. And last, you know, there's been a good upturn in, in results recently. Is it good for players just to be able to show up as a squad just how good you can be because it has been a, a difficult season. I know you've not been here for very long, but it's been a, a difficult season for this field so far. Yeah, um, obviously recently, you know, we're, we're starting to play much better football, much more attacking football, being more on the front foot. So, you know, hopefully we can carry that on to, to tomorrow and uh, give our fans a game that they will that they remember. And... With the likes of Sunderland and, and Hull and Southampton, you're giving real good games up. Sure, you know, these guys are, are high up the table. You can be up there giving them good games. You're giving them good games. You can be up there fighting as well. Of course, you know, players are coming back from injury and, you know, we've got a good squad now. Um, so we can definitely be up there fighting for those places. Top man, good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Alex. Uh, we'll be back around half past with John. Yeah. Cheers, Alex. Thank you very much. Cheers, Alex.
Superb. Thanks for your patience, everyone. We start with Louis from BBC Radio Leeds. Thanks, David. John, good to see you again. Um, let's start with the big news last night. Andre Brighton writer announced as the new head coach of the club, taking charge next week. What's your reaction to that, John? Uh, I think it's a really exciting appointment. Uh, I think he's uh, got a proven track record, uh, extremely experienced. Um, and so, yeah, I think it's, it's really positive. In terms of the timing of the announcement, when were you made aware, John, that this would be the news? Uh, I spoke, I spoke to, to Mark uh, yesterday morning, uh, so and, and, and so I was made, made aware of it then, really. And for you, in terms of your own job or your previous role to the one you're currently doing now, is will you go back to that role? Yes, yeah, no, I'll go, go back um, back into my, uh, my my academy role, um, you know, and and, uh, and and yeah, just 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 slip back in, into that really, and, and like I said, that's it's a really exciting role uh, with the uh, you know with the with the progressions and and then the investment into the academy, um, you know, and the plans for next for next season. So so yeah, looking forward to to, to going back into that. In terms of Andre, have you had a chance to speak yet? No, we, we, we've not met yet, uh, but I think he, he's, he arrived this evening, so um, you, yeah, we've definitely uh, been meeting up and, and, and having a conversation uh, in the, hopefully fairly soon. Surrounding all this news, I guess it's maybe easy to forget that there is a football match to prepare for tomorrow. From your point of view, John, how easy or difficult is it to, to block out this distraction? Uh, easy, yeah. Um, th- nothing's changed for me in terms of the preparation, uh, preparing the players, uh, getting them uh, physically ready to go again um, on uh, for the game on Saturday. And, and in the meantime, that, that's all we've been doing and had all our focus on. So, so yeah, I, I'm uh, you know de- determined to go into that game in a in a real positive mindset like like we have the the previous three games. Um, you know, and, and to win the game really. Yeah, I guess for you, from those above to you, and then you to the players, the remit is just business as usual. Absolutely, absolutely, and and the players are really focused. The, the, the players uh, are really focused in, in, in you know, um, looking into the, the game against Hull, and, and again wanting to follow up uh, Wednesday night's performance and result, uh, and replicate that again uh, this weekend. We had a lot of happy Huddersfield Town fans calling us on Wednesday night, John. You'll be unsurprised to hear. All of them said the same thing, best performance, best win of the season. Just how big of a building block can that be for the remainder of the season? Uh, massive, massive, and I think that's the that, that's the key key message. Uh, I've, I've come into the role to to help, and that's what I wanted to do, and and, and really kind of um, you know support the players, give them a platform to play from, uh, and ultimately it's been, been the players, and, and they should be really proud of this last three weeks uh, and the performances and, and results they've had and uh, and ultimately um, you know it's, it's it's great for Andre coming in and, and the, uh, because the, the players are in a good good place and so it's just continuing that momentum really for, from everyone within the club on uh, the game on Wednesday team news wise I know we touched on last week on some of your more longer term absentees but mm. have you got any fresh worries after the Sunderland game? No I think I think everyone's good I think like I said uh, squ- squad is, is really healthy at the minute loads of loads of uh, fantastic options um, so so yeah I'm um, you know, really positive in, in, in terms of where the squad is currently Any chance to welcome anyone back? tomorrow uh, there's a couple that are close obviously uh, Michelic uh, with you know he's, he's been been dogged a little bit with this uh, with, with this this knee injury but um, so so he's probably uh, one that's that's still fairly close in and around it so we'll wait and see great stuff um I want to ask you about set pieces because that was a a brilliant free kick routine almost worked to a T didn't it but you had Matty Pearson to offer a, a bit of help there just how much emphasis are you putting on set pieces John uh, we're putting emphasis on everything. Uh, we've tried to put emphasis on it, on everything, um, and I think that's something you know. We, we've it's not not just me. It's a collective effort from from the the analysts and uh, and, and to the coaching staff and, and every all the other staff connected to that. It's, it's been a real uh, team effort, which which I asked for, for for everyone to to do that. And you know, it's it's really nice when when things uh, that you've really worked and spent time on uh, come off, and um, that 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 was the case. But I think that. It, that's just one area that we've focused on. I think we, we, we've, we've we've given everything we've we've got, um, you know, in, in this in this period. I'm not going to obviously ask you to give away any more secrets because I'm sure you've got more things up your sleeve. But almost that element of surprise. How important is that to have that in your locker as a team? 
Uh, absolutely. Uh, even to the extent of the, the kickoff, you know, just mixing the kickoff uh, up and and literally just setting the tone from 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 the from the first minute, and we, we nearly got an opportunity from it. And and that's that again. It's, it's credit to the staff and creative ideas. And I, and I've tried to allow uh, you know staff and and to to have input and, and have creativity and, and and ultimately let the experts do what what they're really good at. Danny Ward came on in the second half for the remainder of the campaign. Just how vital is it for Huddersfield Town to have the likes of Danny Ward, not just his footballing ability, but his his personality back in the side for the remaining few games? Yeah, proven player, proven player at, at this level. Um, and, and so he's, he's a fantastic asset to the squad, without a doubt. Bull City, another side who are up there challenging John. Players like Philogene, who I think we've all seen his goal from during the week how, how do you go about preparing to stop an attack that Hull boast um, talented group talented squad and, and a good manager uh, but but we've we've Come up against that quite a, a bit in the in the last few weeks. Same with Sunderland, same with Southampton. Um, so nothing changed apart from uh, areas that we think we can exploit them really, and, and that's the the focus and mentality I, I've said to our, our players uh, going into the game. It must give you confidence those performances against Southampton and Sunderland that you can go into this game with no fear against Hull. Absolutely, and, and we've said that from from day one. Even the Sheffield Wednesday game, where you'd say was you know a, a little bit of pressure with it being uh, against um, someone who's, who's down near the bottom of the league, um, and I think just just you know from the from the first minute of that game to to, to now, um, I've just been 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 delighted with the response uh, that the players and, and the effort that the players have, have given really, and um, you know along with the you know the unbelievable support from the the, the fans, it's you know it's it's been a it's been a it's been a real special few weeks really for, for me personally as well. And to top it off with a Yorkshire derby and hopefully another three points. We know your connections with the club, John, and I'll, I'll put you on the spot. What have been your, give us one of your favourite Yorkshire Derby memories, playing or, or indeed coaching at Huddersfield Town? Uh, obviously, just with the type of player I was as well, I, you know, I, I always loved the derby, whether it was Bradford or or, or Leeds, and, and I've, I've had, you know, I've been fortunate to play, in, you know, in some 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 really good ones. Um, so I think just any Yorkshire derby for me is, is is a game where it just adds that little added incentive, and, and that'll be no different uh, with with Hull on uh, on Saturday, and, and and hopefully we can, you know, real cap- capture that, um, you know, that that moment and um, on, on Saturday. Just lastly from me, when you do speak to Andre, if you could give him one piece of advice about Huddersfield Town as a club and the remainder of this season, what's that going to be, John? Uh, I think it's just just continue with uh, the momentum that we've created in the last few weeks, and, and I'm sure in terms of uh, how Andre sees the game and, he, and his, um, you know, what he's done at previous clubs, I'm, I'm sure he's in a in a position where I'm sure he can he can continue and kick that on. Well, best luck for tomorrow, John. Thanks for your time over the last couple of weeks. Cheers. Thanks very much. Thanks, Louis. We'll come to Stephen from We Are Terriers next. Hi, hey John. Hi, Stephen. How do you how do you reflect on your your spell in charge? I know it's not over yet, but what are you sort of your feelings as you prepare to step away from the role? Uh, I, I just see it as an it's been an absolute privilege for me, to be honest. Um, you know, some 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 real special memories that um, can't be taken away from me, and um, so I'm and. and Proud, uh, proud moments for me, for me and my family. Uh, but, but also just in terms of just, you know, connecting with the players and the supporters again, and um, you know, so so loads of loads of special moments. And um, but you know, I think it's, you know, I'm 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 really focused on the game on Saturday, uh, and I, I'm really keen to uh, to back that up with um with, with another win. You've been keen to give credit to your support staff as well. Uh, how how big of have they been for you over these past couple of weeks? Massive, absolutely massive. Um, like I say, I, I sometimes I, I've been the person sat here uh, in terms of a lot of the interviews, but the you know it's across all departments. Uh, it's all across all departments, but also probably a special mention to, to the to the coaches Neil, with who's been working closely with with Liam Liam Maxey, um, but also Kevin and, and and Michael, and I think. What we've been fortunate, we've got a, a really good mix of personalities between myself, Michael, and, and Kevin, um, and, and I think that's 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 worked really well. And there's, there's been a good balance to the team, and um, everyone's had a voice and been able to chip in in, in key moments. And, and I think that's that's been really important. When we've done our homework on Andre Brighton right to it seems like there's a lot of similarities between sort of the style you've got this side playing in and, and the style he in the past has has looked to. To put on a side is that? Do you think that that sets the side in good stead for him coming in now? 
Absolutely, and I, I just see it as a positive. I think um, you know the players have, have shown they're capable of doing that, and and that they enjoy playing in that way. Uh, and I'm sure um, you know with Andre's experience, uh, you know, and I, I'm keen to learn too in terms of some of the the methods and and, and ideas that he has, and, and ultimately that's that's what it's about. It's it's, it's everyone uh, learning off each other and, and ultimately trying to improve. When you were a player, if you'd had a manager coming in with a couple of promotions and a league title to his name, would that have sort of got your motor running? I think so. I think so. I think any. I think when any new manager comes in, it should be. It's another opportunity for people to to show what they can do. Um, you know, and 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 I don't see that being any different to to, to, the, to the lads currently. I know this is sort of a wider conversation for another day, perhaps, but. Are you able to give us uh, any kind of update on how things are going with that academy revamp that's been underway this season? Um, I think we're, we're probably probably a few weeks away before we can probably um, you know give give them some real deal t- detail into it. But all I can what I would say is there's there's been some uh, unbelievable work uh, from the academy staff behind the scenes and and, and also uh, and Mark and Jake and and we're, we're we're in a good place. We're in a really good place and, and hopefully in the next few weeks we can we can have some uh, some tangible uh, conversations to, um, to to explain where we're at with that to people. Great stuff. Appreciate your time. Best luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks, Stephen. We'll come to Leon next from the Yorkshire Post. Um, hiya, John. Hi, Leon. Yeah, you mentioned leaving things in a good place. That's what you hopefully you've done with with the first team, isn't it? Really, that's the, the sort of leg that that you can that you can give. Yeah, absolutely. I think that that was always the the, the remit, really. And um, when when I when I came in um, to help and 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 you know hopefully you know again with with Saturday in mind that that's that's position we'll we'll, we'll still be in. Yeah, you talked about this way, you know, the thump foot, this style of uh, play for this field, which you brought to the, the first team. How, how important do you think that is for you know all levels of the club? People, you know, you see, see football clubs speaking speaking about having a style that, to play. You know, whether it's academy or B team, first team, running through the strands of the club. That's that's pretty big, isn't it? As well, you know, that's something that a lot of clubs want to want to get to. Absolutely, and I think uh, I, I spoke a little bit about it previously. I think that definitely in terms of the academy, in terms of you know, you know, I'm sure people have, have seen the B team at points. That that is the style of play that um, you know that, that we implement across the academy um, to, to de- develop players in. And um, yeah, we, we, you always want that link, and I think that's that's how um, you know Kevin, uh, Mark, and Jake will see the see the, the the style of players too. So I, I think absolutely we want that that running through the club. Yeah, and he seems to be with, with Andre. He seems culturally, he seems a good footballing fit for town, doesn't he? You know, we'll obviously find out. But he, he seems to be that that sort of um, you know high energy, gig and pressing, and all all that sort of thing. It seems to be. Hopefully, it'll be a, a good fit. I, I think so. I think so. I, you know, like I said, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to meeting him, um, and 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 yeah, just um, yeah, hopefully he's going to just continue that momentum, which you know, with his track rock, yeah. record and, and style, I, I, I can only see that uh, being the case. The, these three game weeks, John, you've, you've obviously been through loads of them when you've been when you've been playing, and I suppose sometimes with the last one, it can be you know it's it's about tactics, tactics and all that sort of thing. But it's a lot of it's about mentality, isn't it? Really, you know, you probably you probably had a a day less to recover than than Hull, Hull, Hull as well. But I suppose at this time of year, players want to they want to play and not necessarily train, don't they? Yeah, the absolutely. Yeah. Weeks. Absolutely, and I, and I think that is uh, that is the case. It's keeping the, the players as fresh physically and mentally as, as we can do. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think you know, obviously, this week pros and cons of uh, an extra recovery on the, on the from the trip back from Southampton playing Wednesday, but then obviously yeah. Yeah. L- lose the day um, going in, going into Saturday. But like I said, I, you know, I think. Um, we we prepared the players, um, you know, it, yeah. as well as we think we, we can do. Um, ultimately, it'll be, be them when they step over the line. But I think if you know you're in that positive mindset and, and results and performance have been good, um, I think you forget all those things. You just go into the game and want to attack it, and that that's definitely yeah. um, the approach that that myself and and the players will be going into. I was going to ask, ask you finally: Do you think it's a, a similar challenge to what you had against Sunderland? You know, Hull have got a, a lot of good, talented, creative, um, you know. Individuals at their disposal, and you know they're in a probably similarish spot in the table as well. Do you think it, the sort of similarities there? I think so. I think Southampton, Sunderland, and uh, and Hull um, are, are probably similar in in extent in terms of you know you know some real good individuals yeah. and 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 a uh, possession based type teams. Um, so it's a good challenge. I, I can't wait. Can't wait.
Yeah. Best of luck, John, and uh, thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Leon. We'll come to Arif next from ITV Yorkshire. Hey, John. How are you doing? You okay? Yeah, good. Have you enjoyed it? Uh, I've loved it. I've loved it. Um, yeah, it's um, it's been a been a been a whirlwind few weeks, but it's been it's been fantastic, and um, yeah, really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. Is it giving you the itch? Is it giving you the the is there something now you you want to maybe pursue in the future? You know, a head coach. Uh, I think it's I think it's opened my eyes to 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 to, to what what that experience is, uh, and like I say, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, I think first and foremost for me, it's you know going in going in like I've said from from day one, it'll be going back into my uh, academy role, which is a really exciting role and, and one that I'm um, really passionate about. But it's, de- it's definitely opened my eyes in terms of um, you know the experiences and um, you know the, the buzz that that first team football does give you. What do you what do you take away from it? Um, loads, loads. I think I'll, I'll after Saturday, I'll be able to really reflect on it, and, and probably I'd better answer it, it being a better place to answer it then. Because uh, whilst you're in the moment, uh, you're giving everything you've got, and probably don't get that opportunity to, to reflect on it. So I think once after Saturday, I think I'd probably be in a, a lot better position to answer that question. Does it, is it nice to hear when you hear the fans saying the really enjoyed the style of play the attack and football the results under your 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 uh, caretaker role yeah I, I, absolutely absolutely um you know it's fantastic to to have that uh, you know to hear the positivity around it and 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 to feel you know i've just played a you know i've, I've played a small part in that in terms of it's the players Ultimately, for me, that have that have that have delivered on that and bought into something, but you know, I'm I'm proud that I've been able to, to shape that and uh, and give them the, the platform to, to, to go and uh, con, go and do that though. And we know what the club means to you, so I mean, I imagine for you as well, it'd be important that the club gets the, the right appointment with Andre. Uh, absolutely, you know, the, the club means everything to me. And, um, you know, I've been here for s- such a long time, um, and, and ultimately, for me, it's yeah, you yeah, absolutely want. But want the appointment to be right, and uh, I'm, but I'm 100% supportive behind that, and, uh, and you know, and I'm sure I'm sure it will be, uh, you know, um, you know, a, a real a strong end to the season. Come on, thanks. Cheers, thank you. Thank you. Cheers. We'll come to Jim finally from RCB Radio. Hi, um, hi, John. Uh, I suppose when opportunity comes, I suppose you have to take it when it knocks on the door. And uh, when this opportunity came for your beloved Huddersfield Town, was there any bit of doubt or hesitation in your mind at the start to say, look, maybe I'm comfortable here in the 19s. Do I go up? Do I take this on? Do I probably risk maybe some of the legacy that I created at the club? Or was it almost think to yourself, yeah, this is the right time for me to step into the fold when my club needs me? Um, no doubt. Um, I was asked asked to help, uh, and and so I was straight ready to go and step in and do that. Absolutely, um, you know it's, it's my, uh, my club in terms of I, I know everything about it uh, from top to bottom, and so when I was asked to help, I was I was more than happy to do that. And I suppose, John, when you come into a club in terms of, uh, you probably have your own ideas, a, a, a fan of the club, a, a beloved follower player, you have probably have the, the ideas and how you might see the team playing in your eyes and your own vision. But you're coming into the club mid-season, you're, you're trying to instill something. Was it maybe the first week or so, was it hard in some ways to get your ideas across or were the players very open from the beginning in terms of uh, changing things obviously when you, uh, someone comes into the position something hasn't worked out the, that's why you find yourself with this opportunity were the players uh, open and eager to new possibilities straight from day one uh, absolutely, they were really open. Uh, I'm fortunate that my, my ideas and how I see the game are very aligned with uh, Mark and, and Jake and, and, and Kevin. Um, so that alignment, um, you know, straight away the players were really open. Um, and and I, I've done nothing but be myself, uh, be myself around the players, be myself in terms of how I see the game uh, and, and get the messages across to the players. I suppose they have been uh, promising uh, results, they've been great results in fact and uh, I suppose in terms of playing on the positive foot and positivity and the fans buying into it and it almost felt like uh, with Huddersfield and when your time in the charge that the, you know, the, the fans were that 12th man on the field, you could almost feel them in terms of that supporter base and maybe the 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 grass 
the the closeness of the the fans and the team maybe bonded and gelled a bit more during your time maybe they were a bit separate before uh, you came into the club there was a bit of but the harmony seems to be back now between supporters and players no and, and I, I, you know i think that's one of the yeah results and performances absolutely but you know I, i'm i'm really I, i'm just really uh, grateful for the for the support that I've had for the, fa- uh, the, the from the fans and and from the, the for the players as well and and definitely you know over these last few weeks the, I've really felt that that connect uh, you know that connection uh, with with the the fans back towards the team and, and myself and um, you know that, that's you know I'm really grateful for that and and I think that's just um, you know another aspect that's that's been really uh, positive in this um, in this period. I suppose I know it's bittersweet for you this uh, whole game coming up, but life goes on and football continues, and it's the day to day of the the normal world, and there's still a job to be done, and Huddersfield Town uh, comes first, but. Hull, it's it's not the that's not the easiest game to 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 leave your mark to go out on. It's a it's a fair challenge. They've been riding high. I mean, they brought in seven players during January. We just look across it, that forward line alone with Philogene, Carvalho, Tufan, Connolly. But what what treat me about Huddersfield the last day was the options you were able to bring off the bench for once in that victory in Sunderland. That Burzog came on, Award came on, Jackson, Nakamura. Uh, that hasn't been something that Huddersfield haven't been able to do maybe in the last few months is go to the bench with all those resources and that must be delightful for you as a manager when you see a team and like Hall and the resources they have the bench and you says yes we have players that can come on here and leave a mark as well absolutely I think you answered you answered the question for me there um you know I've been fortunate um in this this period that you know the squad's getting stronger and stronger and players are coming back and you know it's a good squad it's there's no doubt about that I think we're a good squad I think we've got a, a real uh, mix of talent youth experience um players that can impact games um and, and good characters and leaders within that as well so so the, the squad's healthy the squad's in a, in a good position and and like you said I think uh, important for in terms of the Sunderland game when you can turn around and call upon the, the likes of um, you know um, the, the, the players that I did John, Jonathan Hogg uh, Danny War Bergzog Yuta Nakimara J- Ben Jackson do you know what I mean so I think yeah that's that's a significant um, you know it's, it's a sneak, significant improvement in, where, in terms of where we're at and the, and the strength and depth of the squad so I see that just see that as a, as a massive positive for us and one quick final one, I suppose, in terms of your learnings, you said you'll mention it more about it once the whole game is over. But is there any sort of learning that you've experienced that maybe just a minor thing that you can take back to your under 19s and your underage academy and maybe think you might be stronger, that those boys might be stronger from that experience that you have learned? No, I think uh, nothing in terms of football-wise, in terms of my beliefs, in terms of how we play the game. I think it's probably more in terms of um, b- being myself, uh, being myself, being open and honest with players. Um, and, I, and I said that from the from day one uh, with the players. Something with me, that there will never be a, an ego or agenda. Um, I, I, I speak to players as, as they, they want to be speaking, explain decisions. And I think that's all all players want, just clarity. Clarity on um, whether they're playing or not playing and the reasons why. And, and, and clarity around uh, some of the some, you know decisions on, on the football pitch to, to help them, really. And I think that, that's what I've tried to do um, in this period and, and and, but that's no different to what I would do if I was taking a B team game or a, an under 11s game. Cheers, Jack. Thank you. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, everyone. We'll see a lot of you tomorrow.